stories stories and stories poem english a fictional species we are we tell stories to each other and to ourselves perhaps only so that we can tell better stories to others or perhaps we need stories to survive just like we need food and water and air and sex some stories we know our stories and know that others know our stories some other stories we know our stories but others do not yet other stories we think others do not know as stories yet they do still other stories we think are not stories but others know that those are however the greatest stories the most numerous stories are those that we tell ourselves and others as non stories and we all believe those to be non stories yet those are stories utterly and completely like such is the purpose of life like we matter like we have solutions to what we think are our problems like the make believe which we make around ourselves and believe like there is good like there is right while correct may exist the former two exist merely in the eyes of the observer as do beauty and love heisenberg was wrong uncertainty exists everywhere in movement in stillness in particles in lives in abstract intangible in reality itself yet our primary story is that certainty exists and where it does not we bloody well will make it exist thus we live as if we have a right to exist as opposed to the constantly unraveling accident that we are 
while things may be perfectly determined it is not a perfection the perfect knowledge of which is granted to mere observers we will do well to not pretend that our dearest stories are real or indeed that reality is knowable let alone tellable we will do well to accept that we need stories that we make stories that we tell stories that we like stories that all our pretensions of reality are indeed our stories we will then and only then quit fighting each other for the sake of rival stories quit trying to tell other storytellers to tell our stories and abandon theirs and only then will we find peace in strife and love where none exists and beauty in the face of our laila and in the face of every laila of every majnu for then we will have followed the ancient dictum laila ra bachashme majnu bayad deed laila ra bachashme majnu bayad deed laila must be seen through the eyes of majnu